Or it's a piece of American history dating back to post World War II, and now it's for sale. Considered half art, half science, except you can't hang it on a wall. It weighs 12 tons. Yeah, Vic Gideon with the story of a unique piece of a local architecture. Northeast Ohio's notable buildings, from I.M. Pei's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on North Coast Harbor to Frank Gehry's Peter B. Lewis building on Case's campus. And this, a Lustron home in North Olmsted. This is like what happens when little boys who play with erector sets or Legos become architects. It was 12 tons of steel. When the house was all done, it was put together as a kit and it was loaded onto a specially made uh, semi-truck in order of how people would put the pieces together. Rita Carfanta hadn't heard of Lustron when she bought the house in 2016. So after buying, I began to find out stories about it. One was being that there was one on display in the Museum of Modern Art, but um, people kind of came out of the woodwork um, about Lustron. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. Now it's time to say goodbye. The home is up for sale with realtor Roger Sheeve. This is the second bedroom, again, metal walls. Lustron only existed pocket from 1947 doors. to 1950. Metal pocket doors. Government Lodges. funded to help with the post-war housing Lodges. demand, making 2,500 homes in a Columbus hangar. Today, there's about 1,200 left. This house, so much a product of the 50s, it even has an instruction manual. So this is an original uh, erection manual for the Lustron home. A house with a web locator to find others like it. That's a steel roof. Yeah, this is original roof. It and is. immortalized in book. Looks just like yeah. mine. Vic Gideon, 19 News.